Well, yes indeedy, boys and girls. Um, this is sort of my specialist area. Uh, as I know most applications very well, I'm going to show you how to take this model um, with all the subdivision levels and the mat cap from ZBrush into Mudbox. Now, I've, I've asked uh, Dave Cardle's you know, advice on this because I wasn't initially going to put this up here uh, on the area. Um, I know some of you that will be watching this on YouTube. Um, you can see I'm just showing you that uh, it's got all the subdivision levels, etc. It's got um, that nice grey mat, mat cap material that I know you, can, you won't be able to miss. And there you go. Looks exactly the same. Um, I'm going to show you what you're going to have to do. We're going to, we're going to, unfortunately, we're going to spend a bit of time in the rival application. Um, it's got about two and a half million polys. It's not a tremendous amount. Um, now we'll take it right way down. So vision level one. There's a couple of things you'll have to watch out for. There's the UV set there. Not the world's best UVs, but it'll do for this. Now go and just use multi displays. 2K map in this case because it's enough and then I'll save it out I always try not to leave any spaces in the names and that's the displacement map sorted out we'll come back to this in a moment um, first of all what I want to do is just clear that there and get a nice sphere so we can take that mat cap just draw it on the middle of the of the uh, screen, um, put the poles at top and bottom. You won't get any nasty artifacts. Then just subdivide it until you know it's smooth. Now, once that's done, take it out of edit mode. That's important. You press the T key for that. I'm guessing if you're uh, watching this, use MRG BZ grabber. Um, leave it the default and draw a rectangle over it. I'm guessing if you're watching this you're already familiar with both applications. Then just export as a bitmap. And we'll use that as a lit sphere material later on in Woodbox. Now we're going to still export the base mesh. Now there's a trick here. If you try just exporting it, it'll in, in, export it with inside out normals. A uh, bit of a bug there. So, get rid of group, switch merge on, and switch flip on, and export it to wherever you're going to put it. Give it a nice name. Now we're going to change over to Photoshop. Because it gives us a displacement map that's upside down for some same reason. Um, so just flip it vertically and save it out. Then we go into mud. There's the base mesh. You see that. I'll create a new lit sphere material and go and find oh mat cap material. You can actually convert every single mat cap that you know on the planet like this. If you've got enough time to sit and capture spheres all day. Be careful because um, when you're using ZB mat caps, you can uh, get a little bit of artifacting on the edge, which is the way it captures it. So just means you're light from the right direction, like that, sort of minimise it. Try and get it on the rim of the uh, geometry, if you know what I mean. Now, sculpt using displacement map from one of the maps menu. Select your mesh, go and find your displacement map. And once we've done this, open it up and press the go button and wait. Now I'll show you how it comes out initially. Um, sometimes you might need to pump it up to like 150 on the opacity on the layer. Um, you could use the contrast brush on it, you know. I mean, inclusion doesn't work on the uh, lit sphere materials. Had a bit of a brain fade attack there. There you go. Um, we have the ability now to subdivide, subdivide as much as we want, use all the lighting and proper shadows. Um, we could re-sculpt it because it's only two and a half million polys, so we could easily go up to ten. And there you go. There's all the levels. You can save that out as a mud file now, and you can convert every single project and all your mat caps over, um, so you don't have to keep going backwards and forwards. Now I know a lot of you asked ask for that one, so uh, there you go, you've got it now, you now you know how to take them backwards and forwards and convert them. I'm Wayne Robson, bye bye.